don't know why he gets so worked up. Who told you that? It's just like you said. Are you doing all right? The smithy on the ship is a little on the rusty side. It's the sea salt that does it. It may be a little difficult to produce anything decent here, but apart from that... I've got a dragon egg here. Well? Well, I thought... I know what you're thinking. Forget it. Keep the thing. I don't want it. What weapons can you sell me? Only the best. You know that. Hey! Teach me your abilities. I shall do what is in my power. Can you sell me something? What do you need then? What advice can you give me? Stay away from the Seekers. Remember that their black look can do you great damage here, far away from the monastery. Should something happen to you nevertheless, come to me. I shall see what I can do. Wait a minute. Everything ship shape? Up to now. Remember, I want to see some action. I don't want to hear that anymore. That was obvious. Let's oh, wait sorry. and see what happens. I'm staying out of it. Here we are. This island is not as far yeah, away no from Carinus as I thought. I didn't know about it. But now, of course, a few things are becoming clear to me. I had always asked myself how the orcs could keep their supplies coming so fast. With this outpost, that's a piece of cake. On your way to the interior of the island, you are probably going to encounter a trap or two. If you think you were stuck at some point, come to me. Maybe my experience can help you. You already know what I think. I need ammunition. Maybe I can help you. That's totally obvious. How's it going? Well, this grotto sure is spooky. Can't go on like this forever. No idea, you tell me. Those are all hey. just rumors. You have to feel sorry for the poor guy. Is there anything you need to tell me? My own Not at the moment. That. Maybe later. It can't go on like this forever. I've heard a thing or two. Just like in the old days. You said it. I'm curious to see whether you'll pull it off this time. What? To save your butt before all hell breaks loose Those around you again. What advice can you give me? Hmm, it's a great honor that you should ask me of all people for advice. Only one thing has been on my mind the whole time. Did you bring the Eye of Innos? Of course. Sorry, I'm asking such stupid questions. I'm a bit nervous. Got a few potions to spare? While supplies last. He really didn't deserve that. Why haven't I heard about this before? But he knew that all along. Why haven't I heard about this before? Do you have experience with dragon eggs? No, not really. I have heard that a clever alchemist once managed to brew a powerful potion from it. But please don't ask me for the recipe. I have no idea. That's exactly what I said. He really should have known better. asks for my opinion. He should have known better. problems solve themselves. He really should have known better. asks for my opinion. Those are all Nothing's just going to change about that. I've heard a thing or two. 
Hey! What job will you take over? Someone has to watch the ship. I'll stay here and make sure that it's still around when you come back. How's my ship? Don't worry, I've got everything under control. I hope you know what you're doing, matey. It won't be long now. Keep your head on your shoulders and come back in one piece. How are you? The headaches have become unbearable since we've been here on the island. Damn it. This finally has to end.
Traitor, so I've found you at last. You needn't think I'll have mercy on you just because I'm one of the paladins. I ought to just kill you on the spot. Stop. I beg you. They have put a spell on me. I would never have betrayed the monastery of my own free will. You have no idea what I've been through in the last few days. They put this voice in my head. I couldn't defend myself against it. The orcish colonel questioned me for days. He beat me constantly. Spare me. I'm not guilty. You must believe me. Give me just one reason why I should believe you. Let me live. I can also give you information that will help you to get out of here again. You have to listen to me. Tell me what you know then. Yes, of course. I'll tell you everything you want to know. Under one condition. You have to get me off this accursed island. Do you hear? All right. Follow me. I'll take you to the ship. Thank you. You won't regret it. Here we are. An impressive ship you have there. You truly are a great general. Stop babbling. Just tell me what I want to know. Ah, of course. Where should I begin? What about that orcish colonel? He took away my last spark of hope of ever seeing my homeland again. Since I came here, he has been questioning me about the strategic placement of the paladins in Corinis. Of course. I couldn't tell him much about that. How could I, damn it? I'm a novice of the fire. The orcish colonel is dead. Dead? Inos be praised. I shall never forget his hideous face. What other monsters are haunting this island? 
During the day, you often see the lizard people walking towards the coast. They usually carry very large eggs with them. I didn't catch a lot of this in my cell, but I think they're getting ready to leave the island. How can I get to the interior of the island? There is a secret passage in the Orcish Colonel's throne room. They dragged me there every time he wanted to question me. I saw it there. One of the shamans started a mechanism by pulling on the torches that hang on the walls of the hall. Hmm. I think he first pulled on the left torch and then the right, but I can't remember it exactly. In the rear area, a secret passage suddenly opened that led deep into the mountain. Where this passage ends, I don't know. I've heard enough. Go find a place on my ship. I've still got a job to do. May the power of Inos go with you. I shall pray for you. I have found the traitor, Pedro. Then bring him here to the ship. We shall hand him over to the legal authorities of Corinus. Hey, you! How are you? The headaches have become unbearable.
stay, human. All of my senses tell me that the murderer of my own flesh and blood stands before me. Really? Who are you calling a murderer, you hellspawn? You have my brother Fiomathor on your conscience, and you will pay for that. Stop making so much noise. Let's get down to business. You have come far, little human, but you will never leave these halls alive. Oh, ah. There he 
is.
Slimy worm, you have indeed dared to come before the gate of the master. Are you the one pulling the strings here? I am the guardian of the halls of Irdarath, the mightiest source of Beliar's power on earth. The divine strength of the master flows through my hands. Only one word from me and you will fall into eternal madness. I see. Guess I'll have to rid myself of another middleman. Who's your master? He is a wanderer between the worlds. His divine wisdom enlightens us. He is the chosen of Beliar, who will free the kingdom from the wretched followers of Inos. He brings death to all who doubt his splendor. Sounds familiar? What's hidden behind that huge portal over there? <laughs> My lord's chambers remain inaccessible to you. I shall give you no opportunity to open the gate. Just how many more of your kind will I have to kill? We are many. You have no idea how numerous are those who await this time of freedom. Cries of lamentation will flood across the land when we go out into the world. To free the world of the barbarians who call themselves the guardians of the fire. Our gathering here in the temple will not last long. Yes. Enough of this drivel. I shall destroy you. Your sight will fade, and your spirit will vanish into the darkness. M.M. Kadar. Open!
So now you've managed to find me. I've waited all too long for your arrival. Come on, stop pretending you planned it that way. <laughs> what do you know of my intentions? Have I not sent you the Seekers to lure you onto my trail? Have I not left the signs of my existence so clearly that you absolutely could not miss me? Were not the converted paladins reason enough for you to seek after the secret driving force? As much as you twist and turn, you cannot dispute all of that. There is only one thing that was not predetermined. You have destroyed one of my servants. He was chosen to bear the claw. As I see, you now bear it. For this outrage, you will die. Who are you? <laughs> you still have to ask that? Search within yourself, you fool. You know who I am. I bear no name. Just as you bear no name, I am given the divine power from my creator. Just as you bear the power of your god in you, my fate is in the destruction of the world. Just as your fate is determined by the integrity and virtue of a paladin. Do you not feel the bond that ties us together? Yes, you know who I am. No, that cannot be. Zardus always said... Zardus is weak and no threat to me. You alone are worthy of facing me. So it is written. The time has come to accept your fate. Why are you here? The divinity bestowed upon me will inspire me to drown the world in a river of violence. Only when the last fortress of the righteous has fallen shall I rest. On whose behalf are you leading your minions to war against humankind? My master is the Lord of Night. You know him. You can hear his call. My armies will rise from the ground in his name and shroud the world in darkness. Enough said. I shall chase you back under the rock from whence you crept, you monster. <laughs> You're not yet ready to defeat me. Only one brief moment and I shall have reached my goal. Your bones will serve me to let the ill winds of death blow across the world. Ah! Uh. 
my sincere apologies about this guys but uh, I need a either a, a rain of fire three times four times maybe even five times or I need something to keep his attention so I can slice him with my or weapon without him being regenerated fully back to HP you know um, and since he's keeping knocking me back and my crossbow deals zero damage well it deals damage but by the time the second one hit he has regenerated it so it's kind of useless you know but um, I do need some kind of spell scrolls to get this done otherwise not gonna happen already died about two times or three times I calculated three you know just to be on the safe side but um, I do need something either to keep him busy or uh, to make sure that I can kill him without him uh, regenerating it back because he knock he knocks me back with his flames you know which is one of the main reasons why I normally with heights of power where the best of the best crossbow with heights of power that's included in heights of power and thus you know I can use uh, the blind spot and just keep shooting bolts in his ass and don't. Um, but since I currently don't have heights of power in this particular playthrough I uh, lag a bit <laughs> Either one of the mages, like Milton, Saturus, um, Saturus, Vitrus. <laughs> Spell scrolls which I can use. Either something like summon the demon, Send so much beast to kingdom come. Come. Beast. fire, rain, hail, storm, any kind of spell that deals a large amount of damage. <laughs> Well done! One dirty beast less! Help me, I'm possessed. Take this potion of deliverance. Pyrocar has given me some of the healing elixirs at my request. However, always remember, my means of ridding you of your nightmares are limited. Can you- What do you need then? Okay, so this is already a bad start. T I shall do. And the only reason why I learned dexterity so can so that I can, you know, consume all the king sorrows for a dexterity. Can't regenerate because uh, I don't have the undead dragon. Um. Special potions. No, Alright, so just give me a bit here. But if Milton doesn't have anything, then I'm uh, pretty much screwed. making dex is uh, I don't have any dragon roots anymore and dex could help me land a bit more hits but I doubt it So let's see if my good friend Milton has something because uh, I need some maho. It was just like you said. 
I found Pedro. What? Where? Here on the island? Where did you pick Damn, but he's absolutely unbelievable. I really had no idea he was such a tough bastard. I've got a bone to pick with him before too long. You already know what I think. Got while supply. Oh dear. Possible. He doesn't have any spells either. I don't believe this Which is going to change. Which means I'm kind of screwed. Nobody ever asked me. Because uh, without any magic, it was just like you said. I can't keep him busy. So. Hmm. What to do? All right. Just give me a second. I'm gonna, you know, summon some fire spells. Not that I really want to, but they don't sell any. I've done plenty of gold, you know, so, but they don't sell any. So, uh, yeah, I have to cheat to get it. Well, that's fine, that's fine, you know, whatever it takes to beat the game. Because, uh, if this recording is screwed up, then I am kind of screwed up because I overrided my previous save. Estimates. I need about five, so I'm gonna spawn five. I knew that max, you know. That's totally obvious. I hardly know what to believe in. I don't want to hear that anymore. I have my own opinion about that. You have to feel so lost in I don't know why he gets so worked up. It's three. That should be enough. Let me get a fourth one just to be safe. I could have told you that before. You mustn't believe everything you hear. I'm not very proud of this. All kinds of rumors. And I hope my mic is working, otherwise it's a giant. You know, which will make things a lot more annoying, but I'm not proud of doing this, just like with the tear venals, but uh, you know, I'm not gonna redo the entire game again, because uh, that would be like the third time, fourth time already, and if I would re redo it, it would be with heights of power, and I do need a playthrough without heights of power, so... Fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed. I could have, you know, instantly done it over there. But at least I took the effort just to see if they could sell some, you know. If they could have sold some, then I could have bought it and then used it. That was not the case, so if it doesn't work, I have to still cheat to get some more, but it will leave quite a nice amount of damage to the undead dragon. It's the only way of, for me at this moment to uh, beat the dragon. Normally I will use the claw, but as long as he knocks me back, it's gonna be pointless. Besides, I destroyed the claw. Oh, it's the same with this weapon, you know, this is uh, the Wrath of Enos weapon and it deals quite a lot of extra damage to undead critters, skeletons, zombies, demons, undead critters and uh, well I just can't get close enough, often enough without the need to regenerate even if I press F8 it will just keep knocking me back and knocking me back and in the meantime he, re will, he will regenerate which is uh, really really annoying but should this not work you know then I should still cheat to get some more then I will do like five or six or seven or eight 
whatever it requires. It's not that I'm proud of it, but that's uh, the downside of playing without without heights of power. Because with heights of power, my character would have been ready, ready as one can be. Because a 60% chance is relatively nice. You know, don't get me wrong about that, but. It's not 100%. If you 100% crit every single time, even with this bow, it will deal 120 times, 120 damage with each bolt that hits, which is 100% chance, you know. So, 60% is a lot less, and uh, I think that's one of the main reasons why I did so little amount of damage. It could have been because of my low dex. I've currently got 88. Um, I, I got about 27 through potions just uh, previously, you know, but I don't think it's going to be that much of a difference. But, oh, alright, so here, here we go, fire rain. So three is enough. I wonder, can I get can I get his heart and then recharge the eye again? Because according to the storyline, it should. What purpose has a useless rechargeable Iovinos, you know should the dragons return so let's see if it's possible I doubt it's possible undead dragon soul stone interesting let's see if I can recharge the eye My sincere apologies about the cheating, my fellows, my friends, but there was no other way. I could have gone back to the save file, you know, where I, before I departed, because I was stupid enough to override, but even if I didn't override, I wouldn't have still have the capability of getting fire spells, since I was already at the Halls of Aerath. Should have checked it before I went to the Halls of Aerath, but oh well. Hey, you! It's all over. Now we can get out of here. Now will you look at this? I've never seen such a construction all my life. How on earth did you manage to get past that thing? I was lucky, I suppose. <laughs> if you say so. What are you going to do now? That's a good question. I think I'll go back to Corinna's first. There's no more Thieves Guild there. That opens up some interesting possibilities. Hmm. Or maybe I'll simply take over Bromo's business. There's always money in that. Honest money. Go to the captain now, and let's get out of here. Alright, so let's see if we can uh, recharge the eye. Not enough resources. What am I supposed to do with this sword jam then? I can sell it! Yay! Alright, that's it. The temple is now deprived of its power. How do you always pull it off, hmm? Damned if I know. <laughs> Are we ever gonna get any peace? We've certainly deserved it. Come on, my friend. I think the first thing you need now is 40 winks. You should go straight to the captain and tell him to weigh anchor.
But the game is done pretty much. Yeah. So that means uh, the path of Enos has been unlocked in uh, Gothic 3. We won't be here much longer. It's like my headaches just blew away. How did you do that? I have destroyed the enemy. It must have been something very powerful. So what was it exactly? An undead dragon. Hopefully nothing like that will ever happen again. There isn't as much swamp weed in the world as I'd like to smoke right now. Hey, you! You pulled through. Can we finally get out of here? Yep, the enemy has been defeated. Then let's not waste any more time. Go to the captain and tell him to weigh anchor. What will you do next? Maybe I'll retire to the country and become a farmer. I'm tired of fighting. Watching pretty much, you know, when any attack. Hey! We can be on our way now. The enemy's dead. Very good. Then tell the captain to weigh anchor. May our paths cross again someday after this adventure. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching this video and thank you guys for watching my playthrough of the Enos in the second Gothic playthrough, even though majority. 99% of it is without commentary. Now, if you want to have one with commentary, check out my Adenos playthrough. If you're looking for uh, things uh, specifically, uh, check out my Adenos playthrough because it has timestamps. And uh, uh, this one eventually will have one as well, you know. But that speaks for itself. However, it's gonna take some time. And um, currently got a Gothic 3 path of Adenos to do before I can timestamp for sake. Gods. Um, not really looking forward to play Forsaken Gods, to, just to be honest, but uh, I will play it nevertheless, you know. But uh, I do hope that the cutscene, um, well, so the credit of the game will work, because I, come, I will not skip that, at least I don't think I will. Um, could be, you know. You stayed with the ship? Sure I did. Just imagine what we'd do if it weren't there anymore. There's nothing left here for us. Tell the captain to clear the ship. But, uh, leave a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Whatever you think, you know, is worthy of uh, giving this video. This entire video, all these videos of this specific playthrough. Where did you pick that? But, uh, you know, if you guys want to see uh, the playthrough of Venus and Gothic 3, you know, don't have to wait for long, I think. But, uh, it will come at some point as always, and uh, I will also start soon the uh, third playthrough of Gothic 1 and Gothic 2, the playthrough of Balear, which is the one I'm looking forward to play the most, basically. But where is the, where's the, where's the captain? My captain, where are you? Right. Oh, here you are. Those are all just rumors. I did it. I eliminated the enemy. I had hoped that everything would turn out well, but I must admit that during those last few hours, I haven't been so sure. Can we finally set sail again now? Who told you that?
But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna skip all of this, but uh, I'm gonna use the moment. We're I mean, let me put it, just do it this way, you know, it's better. I want to thank you guys for watching. I want to thank you guys for watching the uh, no commentary version of uh, my Gothic 2 playthrough. The majority part, of course. And uh, I hope, fingers crossed, that my uh, mic isn't bugged, that the recording is on, etc. But I want to thank you guys, nevertheless, for watching this particular playthrough, the playthrough of, Ad of Adnos, of Enos, and uh, soon we will do as well the path of Balear, which is going to be uh, the Fire Mage in a uh, Gothics 2 case. Um, the only one that is still left on the menu, as I would say it, but um, thank you guys for watching, thumbs it up, thumbs it down, positive or negative feedback, everything is welcome, and subscribe to my channel, and if you do, hit the uh, notification bell, and if you do, uh, just a heads up, and just a heads up warning for you guys, it could drive you nuts, because uh, I upload as quickly as much as much as in you know as much videos as I possibly make so let's say you know I play an entire day of eight hours I will upload the same day when I'm sleeping worthy of eight hours of content you know if I play two hours then only two hours um, so I upload whatever I record whatever I can get and uh, that will be the same with Gothic 3, the path of Enos. I have to make a few things here first, like backing up my uh, one of my saves of the playthrough of Adenos so that nothing can go wrong. And uh, I hope to see you guys in the playthrough of Gothic 3, the path of Enos, the no commentary one. Or maybe you would like to see the path of Adenos, it's already on YouTube, you can check that out as well. And if you want to pass of Balear, uh, that will be here soon as well. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you all next time.